This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are going to be okay. There's something really satisfying about using modern technology to breathe new life into old toys. Last night my friend asked to use a USB port to charge his cigarette, but I was using it to charge my board. The future is stupid. In this weekend project we'll be adding Chip, the $9 single board computer, to Teddy Ruxpin, the talking teddy bear of yesteryear, to enable him to say whatever you want, read tweets, and more. Have all of your best home appliances ruined by putting the internet in them. For this build, you'll need the original Teddy Ruxpin manufactured by Worlds of Wonder. If you're shopping on eBay, make sure the one you're buying takes full-sized audio cassette tapes and runs on four C-cell batteries. The model manufactured by PlaySchool, which runs on AA batteries, won't work for this project. Of course, you'll also need chip, an H-bridge motor driver, a single-cell LiPo battery, and a few other components. You'll be doing a little bit of soldering, and you'll need a computer to get chip set up and to interact with Chippy Ruxpin when you're done. Start by disassembling Teddy Ruxpin. We'll be getting rid of nearly everything in the back compartment, the cassette player, the batteries, and the PCB, and just leaving the speaker and the connectors for the motors that drive the eye and mouth movement. Because we need to control the motors and drive them in both directions, we'll install an H-bridge. Solder the H-bridge to a piece of perf board and connect the VM pin on the bridge to the BAT pin on chip. Continue by connecting VCC, PWMA, STBY, and PWMB to chip's 5-volt VCC line to power all of the motors. Then ground all connections from the H-bridge to the ground pin on chip. Now connect the I.O. signals to tell the motors what direction to move. Sending a logic signal to one pin will drive the motor forward, and sending another will reverse it. This controls moving the eyes up and down, and opening and closing the mouth. Connect the motor driver's AIN1 pin to chip's XIOP0 pin, AIN2 to XIOP2, BIN1 to XIOP4, and BIN2 to XIOP6. Finally, connect the motor driver's A01 and A02 pins to Teddy's upper and lower jaw motors, and B01 and B02 to the eye motor. Take the two wires that connect to the speaker in Teddy's chest and splice them into the 3.5mm audio cable. The other end of the cable plugs right into the TRRS jack on chip. Chip supports serial over USB, and that's one of the most straightforward ways to connect to it until we get it connected to a Wi-Fi network. Connect chip to a computer using a USB micro cable. The cable will provide both power and data connection, so it's perfect for our setup. Once you're signed in, use NMCLI to connect to a nearby Wi-Fi network. Chip will store any Wi-Fi settings you enter into here, so it'll automatically connect to this network in the future. Update chip using apt-get, and then install git and clone the chippy Ruxpin repo. You'll need to install a few more packages before we finish up. These are all the various systems that the script calls on to make Chippy Ruxpin speak. If you want Chippy Ruxpin to be able to connect to Twitter, you'll need to also create a Twitter app through their developer site and add your authorization keys to the script. Once you have everything in place, shut Chip down. Connect a single cell LiPo battery to the connector on the board and press the power button for a full second to power Chip up again. And then fit everything back into the cavity in the bear. There should be plenty of room. Sign in via Wi-Fi, then launch the script from your command line. Point your web browser to the URL provided by the script. Anything you type into the text box will be recited by Chippy Ruxpin. The future is stupid. Chippy Ruxpin makes a ridiculous desk toy and a fun conversation starter. Speaking of ridiculous desk toys, I wanted to take a moment to actually talk about some of the ideas that people left in the comments on our last project, the Reddit Shower Thoughts printer. Matt W says, what about wiring a PIR sensor into the Arduino to get a printout every time you pass by? I love that idea. It would be awesome to set that up in my hallway, so like every morning when I get out of the shower and I come through the hallway, I get a new shower thought. Aiden suggested changing this so it pulls from the Today I Learned subreddit. That's a great idea. One of the great things about this project is actually you only have to modify a single line of code to change which subreddit it pulls topics from. All right, that's it for this weekend project. We'll see you next time. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.